Now let's understand the bank balance sheet under the BR Act with respect to question and answers format. So here we are giving you the MCQs to understand it better. Welcome back. GLS is coming out with now MCQs on asset liability management. First question, which of the following bucket is not as per RBI framework? Choice A, 15 to 28 days. Choice B, 3 to 5 years. Choice C, 30 days to 6 months. D, 6 months to 1 year. Answer is C. Next question, lending and investment activities constitute asset sides of balance sheet, liability side of balance sheet, off balance sheet item, all of the above. Answer is A, that is asset side of balance sheet. Asset side of the balance sheet consists of advances, investments, balances with banks, D, all of the above. The answer is D, that is advances, investment and balances with the banks. Next question, minimum capital requirement of banks are stipulated by which regulator? SEBI, RBI, IRDA or Ministry of Finance? This is basically decided by Reserve Bank of India, which is the regulator for all the banks in India. The three broad categories of deposit are current deposit, overdue deposit, call deposit, saving deposit, current deposit, term deposit. Option C, fixed deposit, short deposit, recurring deposit. Option D, none of the above. The answer is B, that is saving deposit, current deposit and term deposit. Next question, borrowing for bank consists of borrowing from RBI, other commercial banks, Exim Bank, all of the above. Answer is D. Borrowing can be from anyone, that is RBI, other commercial bank, as well as Exim Banks. Draft telegraphic transfers, travelers' checks are examples of bills receivable, bills payable, inter office adjustment. Answer is B, that is bills payable. Balances with banks and money at call and short notice is part of asset side, liability side, contingent liability side, none of the above. The answer is A, that is the asset side. Investment of banks include investment in GSEX, debentures and banks, shares, all of the above. The answer is D, that is all of the above. Cash credits, term loans, bills purchase are examples of investment, advance, fixed assets, other assets. Answer is B, that is advance. Which of the following are forming part of fixed assets? A, premises, B, motor vehicles, C, hardware, D, all of the above. Answer is D. Next question, the difference between cash credit and term loan. CC as we call it, CC has no specific due date, but TL has one. CC is repayable on demand, but TL is not. CC is for a long term, TL is for a short term, none of the above. The answer is B. Cash credit is repayable on demand, but term loan is not repayable on demand. Very important factor to be considered. Unsecured advances are those which are covered by only bank, government guarantee, B, which are covered only by tangible assets, C, which are covered only by intangible assets and lastly none of the above the answer is d none of the above interest accrued but not due advanced tax paid stationary etc are examples of contingent liabilities current asset fixed assets other assets it is example of the other assets banks obligations under letter of credit guarantees bill accepted are forming part of Current liabilities, short term liabilities, unsecured advances and contingent liabilities. Answer is D, that is contingent liabilities. Other income includes the following. Commission, income on investment, discount on bills, all of the above. Answer is A. The net profit loss on revaluation of asset is recorded under the following head. Interest income, interest expended, operating income, other income. It's always other income choice D. In the deregulated environment, competition has reduced the risk for banks, spread of the banks, the efficiency of the banks, the network of the banks. Answer is B, the spread of the banks. The strategy of activity managing the composition and mix of assets and liabilities portfolio is called 
बैलेंस रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग असेट मैनेजमेंट असेट लाइबिलिटी मिसमैनेजमेंट एन आई एम मैनेजमेंट आंसर इज ए बैलेंस शीट रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग ए एल एम इज रिक्वायर्ड टू मैच असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज मिनिमाइज लिक्विडिटी एंड मार्केट रिस्क स्ट्रैटेजिक बैलेंस शीट मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल ऑफ द अब आंसर इज ऑल ऑफ द अब दैट इज वॉट वी लर्न इन ए एल एम इट इज मैचिंग असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज मिनिमाइजिंग लिक्विडिटी एंड मार्केट रिस्क स्ट्रैटेजिक बिजनेस बैलेंस शीट मैनेजमेंट द रिलेशन बिटवीन स्प्रेड एंड एन आई एम कैन बी डिस्क्राइब एज हायर द स्प्रेड लोअर इज एन आई एम बी हायर द स्प्रेड मोर इज एन आई एम बाय कीपिंग स्प्रेड कॉन्स्टेंट एन आई एम कैन इंक्रीज डी दर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन द टू द आंसर इज बी दैट इज हायर द स्प्रेड मोर इज एन आई एम इकोनॉमिक इक्विटी रेशियो इज अ रेशियो ऑफ टोटल इक्विटी टू नेटवर्थ इक्विटी कैपिटल टू टोटल असेट इक्विटी कैपिटल टू प्रेफरेंस कैपिटल एंड द लास्ट इक्विटी कैपिटल टू लोन्स द आंसर इज बी दैट इज इक्विटी कैपिटल टू द टोटल असेट्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेट इंटरेस्ट मार्जिन इज ए नेट इंटरेस्ट इनकम विजा विज एवरेज टोटल असेट बी नील विजा विज टोटल लाइबिलिटीज सी नील विजा विज डिपॉजिट्स डी इंटरेस्ट इनकम माइनस इंटरेस्ट एक्सपेंसिस आंसर इज ए दैट इज नेट इंटरेस्ट इनकम विजा विज एवरेज टोटल असेट्स Which of the following is not correct regarding ALM? A. ALM is off balance process. B. The changes in the interest rates will affect net interest margin. C. The primary goal of ALM is to control interest income and interest expenditure. D. When assets fall short of liability obligations in a given period of time, it is called mismatch. The answer is A. That is ALM is an off balance process the focus of alm is on to enhance the asset quality b to quantify the risk associated with assets and liabilities c efficient management of mix maturity and rate sensitivity d all of the above the answer is d all of the above that is focus of alm is on enhance the asset quality quantify the risk and efficient management of mix maturity and rate sensitivity ALM defines management of all assets and liabilities that is both off and on balance sheet items the off balance sheet items are current assets and current liabilities preliminary and prepaid expenses letters of credit and financial guarantee all of the above the answer is c that is letters of credit and financial guarantee with this we conclude our session on mcq in the coming session we'll cover basel 1 2 and 3 norms Thank you